code signal. Arcade. Variable name. Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving variable name question. Let's do this. We need to find the correct variable names consists only of English letters, digits, and underscores, and they can start with a digit. That's basically every programming language that I know of, which is not that much, but just Java, Python, JavaScript, MATLAB. Just get right to it. All right, so this is an example. This is a valid input because it only has these parameters and it starts with a character. This is false because it has a minus sign and that is not a digit or a letter. Not an underscore either, guys. Don't mix that up. That's a vague no-no. All right, this is false because it starts with a number. Okay, I guess it's straightforward. Now, I'd say if you don't know how to use this, um, then um, please study it for your respective language. Because in Java, we have something called um, regex. So what I do with matches, I do matches, and I just see if it matches this certain pattern. Regex is like sign to find like a regular expression, which means like is there a certain pattern that it follows? If it follows that pattern, and we see a pattern right here. Um, it cannot start with a number, and um, it has to start with a letter or an underscore, and then the, the latter values can be letter, digit, and underscore. So a pattern is can be used um, to see if this name follows that pattern. If it does, then it passes. If it doesn't, it fails. And I use the matches method. So first, it has to be a letter or a number. So A to Z, it could be lowercase or uppercase. And this is what you do, A to Z, and a, big A to big Z. That's how you show um, that range and what it can be. And this bracket means Okay, um, in this first character of possibilities, it has to have these character one of these characteristics, including the underscore. Now this plus means that it can be one character of these properties or more. Now the characters that follow it, and it has to have one character because there can't be a variable that's just plain old nothing. Now this is, we could do the same thing here actually. A to Z, A to big Z, underscore, and actually zero to nine, um, because we could do digits right here. However, um, we have something, and also, um, instead of doing a plus sign, we do it times, which means it could be zero or more characters, because we can see variables that have one character. Um, but now, if we want to shorten this down a bit, there's an interesting regex pattern that's called the slash slash W, this meta character. That means that it can be any digit or number, and underscore and if it follows this pattern it's true so this is like a shortcut method of writing what i just did before now we run this test it should pass and it should pass yes it does pass all right and now if i hit submit it should pass too oh my gosh see guys if you learn regex this makes your life it's so much easier um man i really don't know regex what's the time and space complexity about that i have to study that I hope it's um, constant time and space complexity. If not, well, please post a good solution down below in the comments. I'll pin it if it's good as mine, or maybe a tad as good as mine. And <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. Uh, I'm still learning with this, and I hopefully you guys are just as interested in learning this like me as well. Take care, guys.